So let's take a look at editing our virtual instrument clips. Here we have our piano track. We can open up our editor in a number of different ways. One way is to select the clip, go down to the sound tab. Another way is to go up to the clip and double click on it. Now I'm going to resize this so it's a little bit easier to see. Now this is our clip editor and there's two ways to edit in this editor. One is by the piano roll, which you currently see selected. The reason they call it a piano roll is because of this piano here over on the left hand side. You can also edit it by clicking this note here and this is your notation view. And by selecting the duration of your notes, flats or sharps, dotted note modifiers and triplet note modifiers, you got your velocity, snap, you got everything you got in this other view the piano roll view, except it's in notation form. But we're going to stick with the piano roll editor for now. Now each of these blue boxes that you see represents a note. And the note is determined by how it lines up with the vertical piano. And again, that's where we get the name piano roll, how it lines up with this vertical piano here. If I click on any one of these notes, I can hear them play. I can also go up to the play button here and play the whole clip. Now we got a lot of silence here at the end, so I'm going to edit this loop by simply hovering over the green arrow till I get my left and right arrow and drag it to where I want the loop to end. I can also see here on my C note that it starts a little bit after the beginning of the clip. So I'm going to edit the start loop to hit right at the beginning of that C note. Now if I play it, now you can move these notes either by selecting the arrow tool or the pencil tool and simply go to the note, click and drag and you can hear that it plays when I do it. I can also change the duration of the note again with either the arrow tool or the pencil tool and hovering either at the top or the bottom of the note until I get my left to right arrow, click and drag and I change the duration of it. If I double click on any note on the piano where I already have a note, you'd see it selected both of these notes on the C. Now if I had 28 notes hitting that C note, they would all be selected. What this does is if I actually want to move that C to a C sharp, I can move all my C's together. You can also click and drag to select multiple notes or you can hold down your control key and select whatever notes that you want and when a note is selected it turns a dark dark blue. Let's zoom in a little bit on this editor. I'm just using my scroll wheel here. Now currently my snapping is set to 132nd notes. We can use this menu to set a new parameter of anything from 1 64th all the way to off. So let's give this a shot in quantizing. If I say snap to half notes and I go to quantize and I select quantize all and click OK, now watch how the notes shift to the closest half note. All of these here shifted. Let's do that one more time. So now if we play this clip, very mechanical sounding. Control Z. Let's take it back to 30 second notes. Now if I just wanted to quantize a couple of notes, I can select them given one of the different ways that I just showed you 
I'm going to hold and drag and go up to quantize click quantize selection and click OK now watch the notes that I've highlighted it switched those two notes so if I play this portion That actually sounds a little bit better. If I wanted to add a note or a number of notes, I can go up to my pencil tool, and these are my note durations, all the way from a whole note down to a 30 second note duration. I got my dotted note modifiers and my triplet note modifiers. So say I wanted to add, let's do whole note first. It's easiest to see. I got my pencil tool selected, I got whole note clicked, I can go down anywhere on my piano roll and click once with my pencil tool and it adds that note. Now I can change the duration or where it comes in by simply dragging and dropping. Now if I wanted to add say a 64th, it's the same process, you go down to where you want the note to hit and click in that area and it adds the note. Now let's play that. Obviously that's awful. Now to erase a note just take this eraser tool here and click over the note you want to erase. So now if we play it Oh, forgot one note there. I'm going to go up here and select the arrow tool again and go down here to the controller area. If I click here, I get a drop down menu and you see any different number of parameters here from my velocity to a pitch wheel to the foot pedal to a breath controller, etc. etc. Now by selecting any one of these, and let's start with something extreme like a reverb. I go here to reverb. And you'll see that there's nothing in the controller area. My arrow tool automatically turns into a pencil tool. So now I can draw in the waveform of my reverb. And if we play this, Let's go back to velocity for a second. This note right here is always a wee bit too loud. So I can take just that one note and say I'm going to chop the velocity down to 64%. And if I play it now, it sounds a lot better. Or I can just take this whole thing and make it really loud. So you can see we can edit anything from the entire clip by just drawing a waveform or we can edit just individual notes. So that's a quick look at the clip editor.